am finally scratching Hawaii off of the bucket list. This was so exciting. Check out my nails. Aloha. And we are off to Hawaii. So it was so interesting to be able to view different pieces of Hawaii, explore the cultural. And not only that, check out our breakfast. We didn't just have crackers. We had a egg McMuffin sandwich and a rum drink. The, this flight was an experience in itself and I'm not even in first class. So yes, that says a lot about the Hawaiian Airlines. Check out this really cool screen. It'll show you how far you are to your destination, the estimated time of arrival. Well, first off, I've never been on a plane that has this big, obviously because there were three different sections and I sat in the section in the middle and it had four seats, but it was only two of us, so it was enjoyable. It was actually really nice. It was right in the middle. The touchdown to Hawaii is when it got real. Please ensure you are collecting the correct bag. Mahalo. The TSA has limited. So this was the view from the balcony of the room I got. As soon as I touched down, I said, let me shower, change, and hit the beach. So this was my first speech set, hair still on point, yeah. And I was really feeling like the weather, the atmosphere, and the people. Good morning! <laughs> it is 4 a.m. 
probably a little bit closer to 4 30 now we're gonna kick things off today by going to sea life park i am so excited <laughs> That is the reason why I even decided to come to Hawaii. <sighs> I was trying to swim with the dolphins in at Six Flags in Vallejo. Well, their dolphin Discovery Kingdom right now is not up and operating. It's closed down. So I was just like, I'm not going to settle for that. So here I am in Hawaii. So I have been up for about an hour now, but... I did not sleep good in this room like I don't know um maybe because I'm used to traveling with other people but I just didn't sleep good but let me show you the balcony view I don't know if y'all noticed but i am i'm scared of heights like it took me and it took me to i moved to sacramento to cross over a bridge so that was i crossed over a bridge like four or five years ago for the first time i was terrified Okay, so it is now a little bit closer to five and I actually want to go to the beach before I go to Sea Life Park now. Sea Life Park, baby, they're not playing. You have to be on time. Like, you can't be late. If you late, you don't get to swim with the dolphins. They, they have a no exception. So I have to be, swimming with the dolphins starts at 9 45 you got to be there an hour early so i got to be there at 8 45 but i am already ready i got everything ready to go i don't even have to stop for breakfast because y'all oh so let's do like a little recap from yesterday because i i really didn't film yesterday i was just i was just completely taken back by how beautiful hawaii is Looking at the culture, I saw people dancing, you know, the nightlife is lit. The city do the city doesn't sleep. Like, am I in LA or, or New York? Nah, I'm in Hawaii. <laughs> so um, yesterday I touched down. Um, I had a two hour wing and I thought that I was going to go to a botanical garden as soon as I touched down, but I ended up not. I took care of a little business at the airport until... Um, my rental car time was ready, which was about a two hour gap. Well, um, I went, I Ubered to my rental car and my rental car renter, he, he's so nice, so cool. And um, he showed me how to work the vehicle. I'm, I'm driving a Prius, first time driving a Prius and I ain't gonna lie, kind of make me want to get one. First time in Hawaii and guess what? It's really making me want to move out here, you know, but we'll see. This is just life. Like anytime you go to a new city, especially one that has like um like a beach, like like cultural, like it's just like it, it, it they are on vacation. Like this is their life. Life life is a vacation for them. And so I I want to be on that level. Like Sacramento got a beach, but check out the beach that Sacramento at. Right? So yeah, that's like not my definition of the beach that I want to experience. Like. If I get off of work, I'm not in a good mood. I want to go to the beach. I want something, you know, clear waters, you know. It's giving, it's giving ocean, not the river. So, yeah. Um, but after I picked up my car, I was supposed to go get Chung hot dogs. But, y'all, I was supposed to get Chung hot dogs. And then last night, I was supposed to go to Roy's Waikiki. Well, if you know anything about Hawaii, you know Roy, Roy's Waikiki is a fa he's famous. He's a famous chef. 
but I ended up not going because I made a mistake yesterday. First time on a flight that I drunk. So oh, they served. Okay, and let's 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 really get into it. Hawaiian Airlines compared to United or Frontier or American Airlines, like no. Fly Hawaiian. They instead of giving me like little crackers or a little a little snack compliment like complimentary or whatever that's all I, i've ever been offered like on flights cookies like little crackers or something like that maybe hawaiian coming with it hawaiian is coming with it they're not playing around hawaiian hawaiian airlines served me uh, a mcdonald's breakfast sandwich complimentary yes complimentary um i had an egg mcmuffin now something a little bit different i don't know if this is like i'm because I'm, I'm not planning to buy breakfast from McDonald's while I'm here, but my Egg McMuffin did have a little mayo on it. I was a little turned off about that. So I did only eat, I didn't eat the egg and I didn't eat one half of the muffin due to the fact that it had mayonnaise on it. Cause I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a mayo type girl. I'm just not a mayo type girl. And like I eat like tuna fish and stuff, but not on a breakfast sandwich that it was disgusting. I don't eat, I don't even eat mayonnaise like on a, on a regular burger. So no, but I was still appreciative of the breakfast sandwich. And not only did they serve us a breakfast sandwich, but they also served us alcohol. First time drinking on a flight, and it was a very, very good experience on the flight. Do you hear me on the flight? Because the moment I stepped off the flight, I say about maybe two, three hours later, queasy. Queasy, 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 queasy. Couldn't eat. Um, I pulled up to... The first restaurant I pulled up to was Papa's, and the reason why is because the thought of eating a hot dog from Chung's just completely made my stomach hurt. It, it just turned like so. That was a no go. So I was like, just go to Papa's, get you some shrimp. Pulled up to Papa's as soon as I smelled the chicken from the drive through, my stomach was like, no. So I ended up googling like a nice places to get salads from, and so I ended up going to I think I went to the mall. Um, or it might've been like a little outlet, but I believe it was the mall. It was, it was late and like I was, I was rushing. So I went to a, a, a Lahu, I'm sorry. I went to Aloha salads and I got me a Caesar salad and yeah, I haven't eaten it yet because as soon as I got into the car after ordering my food, I literally had to lay my seat back and take about 15 to 20 minutes of a break because my stomach was just that queasy. And once I made it back to the room, no, I did not up chuck, but I did like spit up just a little bit, just a little bit. But it was just like, mm. I went to, I went to bed, didn't sleep good, but now here we are. So let's get ready for the day. Let me go out, step out here. I may have to save that sunrise for tomorrow. Mm. So this hotel has like a daily parking fee, $45. So I have to go pick up my car. Cause I parked in a parking garage. That's, it was a two minute walk here and it was $25. So I thought that it would be worth it to just go ahead on and save my little, my little coins. So let's go get the car. So a little sunrise action. Since I did not make it to the beach this morning for the sunrise, I'm very disappointed in myself. I've been up. Now, this is a beautiful sight right here. Okay, so I got everything um, I need to hit the beach. I kind of want to go just go to the beach just to, you know, look, 
maybe dip my feet in for a moment because I didn't dip my feet in or anything yesterday when I went. Um, so, Sea Life Park is about 30 minutes from where I'm located. So, I'm going to head in the direction of Sea Life Park and find a beach close by it because I did this on my itinerary already. Um, but I think that Hawaii has two beaches that have similar names. So I'm going to go in the direction of Sea Life Park and then we'll find a beach that's close and finish watching the sun come up. Let's go. Oh, and this is a Prius, guys. It's the Prius that I rented. This motherfucker is quiet. So watch me start. You hear it don't it doesn't make it's not making any noise. So this car is half electric, half gas. So, yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off and because I gotta use my GPS. Okay, so I'm driving into Sandy's Beach. Those waves are coming in really, really nice. I'm gonna keep driving up. Okay, this is Sandy's. Ooh, look how beautiful. And then coming in, they have some really exotic trees. I'm not really sure what they call, but. Oh, check out the waves. Life comes at us so fast and oftentimes we're, we're left questioning like, why do certain things happen or, you know, you know why just just why um especially something that i went through last year and i'm not gonna sit here and, and cry to y'all or or try to tell y'all what happened or anything like that because it it's not your business but i i do make content and i do want to be a little bit more transparent with you know the people that you know i interact with or who follow me or you know the people that i follow if they ever come to my page so um life comes at us fast and sometimes we just gotta take a step back from life take a step back from work and just go enjoy and be in the moment you know um we are not in control over our destiny we're, we're not in control over the things that happen to us um so we can only take this take life one day at a time and you have to be grateful for the opportunity to to be present in the moment you have to be grateful each day that you wake up that you're still here. Um, and with that being said, I'm about to go check these waves out. <laughs> okay, I took one step out there and I'm putting a jacket on. Handy dandy puffer. I don't think I told y'all the flight here is so cold, freezing, but I'm anemic too. But I bought this puffer. This puffer normally keeps me warm. And I, I wanted to wear my light pink two-piece uh, sweatsuit set, but I got makeup on the pants and I, I washed the pants twice and the makeup still ain't came out. So I'm gonna have to get a stain removed for them. And I washed the day before the trip. So I ended up wearing a hot pink two-piece set, but it's, it, it's a lot thinner. It's not a sweatsuit. It's just a two-piece set, froze. <laughs> okay, let's check the waves out. Okay, so I'm like looking at the water hella fucking hard because I see something in the water, dude. I think it's like a dolphin or a shark or something because it just it's just giving that. Oh, check this out. Oh. This is a beautiful beach. Look at that. That is beautiful. These waves. I think this beach is pronounced Wa'amalu Beach, but it's right next to Sandy's Beach. And actually that blowhole that I showed, that's what this beach is. So I'm about to get out in a minute.
So I'm actually headed to my next beach, but before I go, I have to show you how the tree, how these trees look. Or actually, I may wait till tomorrow, so I don't have to turn around. Nah, it's worth it. I'm turning around. Pull over because I'm driving slow. People like. Even this one is a little bit exotic looking. I'm gonna drive down more and then like come back up so you guys can really see it. Cause I don't really feel like like what I'm showing you is like the full like view and I want you to see the full thing. Okay, here we go. Southwest on Hawaii 72. Northwest toward Hawaii 72. Continue on Hawaii 72 for one and a half miles. Now you see why I had to turn around and show y'all like the bonsai style trees, palm trees. It's just, it's just too much. Like, and then it's several different styles. They're shaped exotically. It's just it's, it's beautiful. Okay, so next up, we're gonna swim with the dolphins. <laughs> I'm at Sea Sea Life Park. So let me find the entrance. I'm about 20, 30 minutes early, about 25 minutes. So let's go find the entrance.
so I just want to show like where I'm entering to this is supposed to be leading to another beach so let's take the road down 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 oh I just got done swimming with the dolphins man that is such an experience that's all I can say I'm gonna stop recording and let's hope that we get to a beach Instead of eating lunch at the Sea Life Park, and I probably will maybe check out, see what they got, depending on if I'm still hungry or not. But I decided to eat my salad from yesterday since uh, I couldn't. I was so nauseous, I couldn't eat it. So let's see what this Caesar salad is hitting on. So I just made it back to Sea Life Park. I really need a shower at this point after doing the whole uh, swimming with the dolphins, but they don't, they didn't have showers in there. I'm surprised they don't have showers in there. Kind of like getting out of a pool, you know, but, but my hotel room is about 40 minutes away and they have a dolphin show at 1230, which is about 20 minutes. So I'm just going to wait. Um, but something that was just a little irritating was that I had paid for the Dolphin Adventure, um, so I didn't pay to get into the park this morning, and I just had to pay to get back into the park so I can get my pictures, my souvenirs and stuff, because I left for a few to go to the beach, which is the last beach that I showed y'all, but I just was not feeling that. I don't know if you guys, like, have seen me, like, completely without my makeup on, but I am, like, really pale, like so i do be putting makeup on just to add me a little little razzle dazzle and i don't have no soap with me at the moment and i needed to fix my makeup because it was looking bad something about hawaii i don't think a lot of people know it sporadically rains out here like but it's not i say rain it drizzles so it just randomly just starts drizzling so gotta keep a hat so i've just decided to put my little beach hat on so my my lace in the front won't turn come up so, yep, let's go get the souvenirs. So this is Dolphin Cave.
so this is the Port Luck Beach. Now this beach is very, very calm. Though there, there are no waves crashing in or nothing like that. So my phone is on one percent. I'm about, I'm about to go sit out here. I really wanted to shoot some content here. This is Jungle Swing, and I'm telling you, it is like a jungle to get up here. Here it is. It's it's a really to me it's you know it's worth like taking a picture but and the rain with my frontal i don't think so so my phone is on one percent i'm trying to let it get to three percent before i go out there but if it continues to rain at the rate it's coming down i'm gonna come i'm gonna try to come back tomorrow decided to stop at mcdonald's for a sprite because i'm queasy again and they got out So the beach scene was really good this morning. Um, yeah, my eyes are looking really cute. I did bring contacts, but honestly, I haven't had time to really just slow down to just only put contacts in. I have been sick the last three days from the flight. Yesterday I went to the mall and I tried to, to take a picture with her so you guys could see, you know, cause I know that, like y'all be wanting to see like, you know, she didn't want to take a picture. She was so weird. Like this was at the end of the conversation when I noticed, like I was like, this, she's weird as hell. But I met this Hawaiian lady and um, basically like I'm in the store and then she started talking to me and she talked to me for like 45 minutes about diff just different stuff or whatever. And she claimed that because she asked me what I do for a living and I told her I'm multi-site property manager. She claimed that when her grandfather died, he distributed like he was he was wealthy he distributed all his money in between um all his kids and her mom portion um and she ended up buying an apartment complex and she said she sold it about five years ago so i'm not sure how true that is but that's what she said it was an older lady she looked like she was 70 80 years old um but then she uh she started to be weird like towards the end of the conversation because like she's you know basically like talking and talking 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 i'm like okay well let me well i asked her did she have facebook and she was like no i don't have facebook you know i tried it or whatever and she was older so i can understand not having facebook but i also asked her you know well what's your cell phone number i guess like she was so old that she said i have an email address so she gave me her email address and she told me to send her pictures after i leave and she said that she would she's gonna send them to her son her son has a business he's a painter and he lives in milwaukee i believe he lives in a place that's like really cold and all i could think was like why would he be living in a place that's like so cold coming out of hawaii because hawaii is like it's so beautiful here so nice so yeah i want to try to give me like a fruit bowl and then I'm going to head to the next adventure. And I'm not telling you what it is yet. Just wait on it. So let's try to find some fruit.
Hey y'all. So I just made it to Kahlua Ranch. <sighs> Need some scissors to say that the power of ancestors are real. Um, I don't ever want any person to take for granted your ancestors looking out for you or or doing stuff to make sure that you're divinely aligned um i say that because i know i know for a fact so let's go horseback riding and i honestly don't know when this vicious cycle like is gonna end but it's hard it's really hard it's not something that like i have control over but like i just randomly start crying and i randomly just replay like that night like that what happened like and over in my head it's it's so hard like to deal with and i don't think anybody understand because i didn't do anything wrong <laughs> I am so emotionally unstable right now. And honestly, like, I would say, like, I wish I had somebody to talk to about it, but I ain't told nobody. I, I take that back. So yesterday, I actually, um, I told my, my uh, the, the, the owner of the property management company I work for. And the reason why I told them is because you know how people get like when you take a vacation and it's not necessarily him. Um, it's, but it's a family owned company. And so I just kind of been feeling like, so basically, and we've, I've had like two, one, the maintenance guy at my first property, he actually, um, he was on well not vacation you might as well call it a vacation because he uh you might as well call it a vacation because he took off for a month in february black history month he's sick so and then we had uh i switched properties or i, I gained i got a promotion and got a another property um with the pay incentive and at this property when I, my first day there I, I had another maintenance guy who went to El Salvador for two weeks so it shouldn't be a big deal that I came to Hawaii for six days my mom is calling me so I gotta cut this video short so off the phone with my mom um it was good talking with her and my sister Shanetta um I stayed on the phone with them for about an hour and I actually have drawn driven back to Sea Life Park because I went to Kaloa Ranch and they ended up canceling most of the time that we were supposed to do for horseback riding. So I requested a refund because um, I'm like, okay, no, all the money that I paid and we only get this amount of time and it's not, it wasn't a lot of time and I can do horseback riding in Sacramento or somewhere else. When do when does the the torture stop like when 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 will i be when will i be happy i thought that this trip would make me happy but i have i've been crying like sporadically it's weird you know and honestly especially like when my makeup is done pretty like i don't want to be crying you know looking a mess and I'm not putting this out here or doing this because I think that somebody out there in the world cares about me. This is more or less for me, my healing, my journey, my experience and what I've been through. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this. This is just, it's, it's a part of the, pro the healing process for me. <sighs> How do I as a woman who has been with the same partner for all of these years mentally let them go like i was prepared to do that last year in december but now it's like under the circumstances i actually feel like i can't but i should go ahead on and let them go and probably me holding on is probably hurting me even more <sighs> replaying that same scenario over and over again in my head it's not even 
it's a couple of different parts that replay but it's especially this one part that replays in my head over and over again and i just i don't know what to do and i wonder if that has anything to do with the fact that that's the last minute let me get back to sea life park because i want to catch the swing before it starts raining again i'm still on my way to sea life park but y'all i think that it was meant for me to be sad look at that water look how blue now this is what this is a beach that I, oh my god that water is so fucking pretty i have not been to this this is uh Wamanalu Beach. That shit is fucking gorgeous. Look at that shit. That's next up. After I do the jungle swing.
water is not completely clear, but it is nice.
that was jungle swing and i'm just leaving out i didn't stay long because it, it's not like a huge attraction but Pual Aka State Park it was pretty cool in there but I didn't drive all the way down so now we're off to get wings good morning <laughs> so I've been up for about maybe two hours now um but I think that it's a sign because today is basically a relaxation day. I'm going to go to secure a spa and I may go get my nails done. I don't know. I'm going to think about it because I have the day. Um, uh, the only thing I have planned for the day is secure a spa and that's it. But I didn't check out. I was supposed to check out Foster Botanical Garden my first day here, but I didn't. So I may check that out too and get my nails done. A part of my spa day like um, package that I bought was a scalp massage and I was a little concerned about that because like I had this wig on but since it's sliding back so much from the rain I'm gonna just try to take it off yeah and bring me down take it off and let her go ahead and give me a scalp massage and then braid my hair back down when I get back so hey so I did go back to the room I got ready, took a couple pictures, and I got this at Sea Life Park. It was a souvenir. It looks really good. So, um, spa appointment starts in about 40 minutes, and it takes about 10 minutes to get over there. But I want to make sure that I'm on time because traffic could get bad at any moment. could start raining, so we're going to head on over. The flower, in my opinion, is really giving. So... It did take me a little while to find this, but um, I guess the building is up there and this is the parking garage. So I'm at the pay for parking again. Really guys? Jordan 
I don't know what Hank's putting that drink. And my wig done slipped back. Y'all, that scalp massage was so fucking good. Probably just put a hat on today and tomorrow. Until I get back home. Because I'm not laying it back down. I just... I don't want to. I don't I don't feel like going by the glue. Because I didn't bring any. Because I didn't think I was going to need any. But anyways. I don't know what Hank's hot dogs put in that drink. But shout out to Hank's. Um, I'm not sure if I was talking with the owner or not. But whoever was in the front. And I do believe he is the owner. Super cool. Super nice. And um, I felt very, very welcomed. And uh, greeted. And I'm glad that I chose this to be the first place that I ate at. I literally have spent... 15 to 20 minutes trying to park because I did not want to park too far from my room because I don't I didn't want to have to walk like 15 to 20 minutes to get to my car or even 10 minutes and I'm planning on getting drunk this is my first day on the island that I actually feel well enough to drink so I want to and I don't want to have to be worried about the car I want to be able to be like it's close enough to where I don't have to worry about it so from this point on for the rest of the day, if there's anything that I need to do, anything I need to get, I'm taking an Uber. God, I got to get these lashes filled. All right, let's go back to home. Okay, this is Wa'ale Beach. I parked right here. Really not even supposed to be out here right now because of uh, I went and got that uh that laser facial. Okay, so this is the pink sand beach planet cave. Which also have um really cool work. Okay, and I know my skin doesn't look its best, like honestly, like the like some of the, some of the spots that are coming up is kind of like hyperpigmentation from the laser and i hope that doesn't last um it's supposed to peel off but with that being said 
all I did was film that little video and I'm gone because I got 46 minutes before it takes me 46 minutes to get back to where my, I'm staying my hotel room and I'm ready to get drunk it's it's 3 fucking 30 in the evening and I ain't had not a drop of alcohol today it's time to get drunk what a way to exit my grand exiting tomorrow got hit 